Hi, it's Julian Meller from propergolfing.com. Uh, what I wanted to do in this video is share with you one of the biggest mistakes that golfers make. I see this happen all the time on the ranges, on the golf course, and if you can avoid making this mistake, it'll make a huge difference to your golf game. And it is so simple. The worst piece of advice ever given is try and hit the ball. The ball has to get in the way of the motion. So let me just demonstrate what I mean by that. So I'm just, I'm, I've got a short distance available to me today. So I've only got a, a, a lob wedge that I'm gonna play, but I'm just going to hit this correctly. So I'm still making my good setup, all those things, but watch, watch the movement and do, does it look like I'm hitting at the ball or is the ball getting in the way of the movement? So nice and relaxed. and through holding that lovely finish let's just do that again so nice and nice and relaxed back through so at no point there was I trying to hit the golf ball I've made the movement the correct movement for me and the golf ball has got in the way of the golf club and it sent it towards my target so what we see all the time is you know especially with the people with the driver in the hand they want to smash it a long way they'll set up and they'll try and hit this golf ball you see this poor movement all the time got to hit the ball make such poor body movement such poor uh, club head releases and that's when they start hitting the golf ball all over the place now you you might laugh at this but you'll have either said it or you'll have heard it said and that is if only i could hit the golf ball with my practice swing the times you hear that is just incredible now one of the reasons we we the practice swing is so good is there's no golf ball in the way we swing freely and all of a sudden we've got that flowing motion through the shot but if we start hitting at the ball so we put the ball down and suddenly this becomes our center of attention and everybody starts to hit at the ball. So one of the quickest ways to stop hitting at the ball is to actually make your setup and close your eyes. It sounds a bit strange, but when we can't see the ball, we tend to make much better movements. So literally set up to it correctly, close your eyes just before you, you make your golf swing and hold that lovely finish. And this is a brilliant way to help you start hitting or making the ball get in the way of the motion rather than that instinct to try and hit the ball. So let's just do this correctly. So I'm gonna do this with my eyes open, but you really should demonstrate and have a go with your eyes shut. So nice and relaxed, backwards and through. And the golf ball has got in the way of the swing. At no point there was I trying to hit at the golf ball. Now, you can do this with all the golf clubs in your bag, even little chip shots. So the amount of times you see a little chip shot and people hit at the ball, they jab it so they can go there and suddenly stop uh, and hit poor chip shots. Whereas actually, if we can let the ball get in the way of the motion, we're going to hit beautiful chip shots. So don't just think of this as a, a driver thing. This is through your whole golf bag. So remember the biggest mistake is trying to hit that ball. Let it get in the way of your, your best golf swing. So let me just do one more for good measure. Backwards, through, ball's got in the way. And every one of those shots was absolutely spot on for the distance I'm hitting it. I've only got about 60, 70 yards uh, of room at the moment. That's why I was just hitting the wedge. But do this with all the golf clubs in your bag and it'll make a huge difference to your golf game. Now, I hope you find this helpful. Um, get out there, go and give it some practice. Remember, you're never gonna get better unless you put some time in. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the box below. Have a look at propergolfing.com. If you really are serious about your golf game, you want me to help you improve, sign up to propergolfing.com. You get instant access to the library section where there's hundreds of videos in there that will definitely help you. You'll also get monthly coaching sessions with myself, as well as a weekly Zoom webinar invite where we have golfers from all over the world come and join us. They're absolutely brilliant. We hold those pretty much every Thursday. Uh, just a great, a great way of getting to know people and learning more and more about your golf game. So hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.